Yeah, Vigilantes. That sounded very prominent name, a strong name. Hide the women and kids, the outlaw bikers are on the loose. You know, we steal little old ladies' milk money, we bite the heads off chicken, we do all sorts of you know, horrible, weird, nasty shit. And that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> It was such a, a new thing, you know, the whole motorcycle fraternity, the whole the brotherhood thing was just, it was fledgling. We ended up getting about eight guys together with the intentions of, of forming a bike club. We were only bloody well really young and we just enjoyed riding bikes and drinking piss. And it all happened around 67, 68 because of our age. And it was a thing like the, the, the rock star attraction. The club was your life. It came before everything else. It came before work. And it actually, in, in a lot of instances, it came before family. There was a bit of violence around in them days. We were doing things that weren't legal a lot of the times. It's not a game when you ride a bike or in a bike club. You know, but there's a lot of people dead and gone. That's it. Mad Max. They just said, we're looking for some extras and we're looking at making a bikey film. We weren't professionals at all. The speeds were genuine. You can see it, and they left it in the movie. He's killed. Now they'd go mental and wouldn't let you do that in the pit. We were just individuals doing our own thing as a, a group, having a hell of a good time, and putting responsibility absolutely last. And, and we created something that grew and grew, and the club's still going today. And yeah, I mean, you know, who wouldn't want to belong to a club that had a name like the Vigilantes?